looking at uh, hazardous containing areas. Once you see here, your seal, explosion proof for your boundary areas, type one. Uh, within 18 inches, I want you to note, you got your rigid coming out fully. Then emerging, first thing to merge from grade is your explosion proof seal. There's your line from here down. I want you to note it's not rigid because from here down, it's below the 18 inch requirement. And this is not tied to your pumps. Anything pump related has to be in rigid metal conduit. And the first thing that comes out has to be an explosion proof seal. So you can run plastic if it is not a part of the boundary area. And it doesn't enter into that boundary area. Cause you see here, you got your pumps and then this is service uh, conductors for the canopy. So that's important. I want you to see also here, coming along over here at your pumps, I want you to see where your pumps have a separate ground. Uh, same thing, water tests on all your equipment. Any kind of electrical has an explosion proof fitting and seal. All right, I want you to see here also separate ground for your pumping stations and where they're filling, you know, for the trucks, water test on it. I want you to see a ground wire tied, All right? Coming in to your separate ground rod, not to your service ground rod, but a separate ground. And they got a water test on it, on all your fittings, making sure again, everything's, nothing's leaking. And again, anything electrical has got a seal, explosion proof seal on it and fitting. So stuff to be looking for when you're looking at uh, hazardous areas.